You good? Stop it. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. Bob Arum. How are you? Bob, how are you? Good. Uh, tell Good. us about that boxing. Tell us about this card here on the weekend of the Puerto Rican Day Parade, Saturday night, June 8th. Well, I think it's really, you know, Xander uh, uh, is really... Everybody says the future of boxing in Puerto Rico. And this is a showcase for him against an experienced, tough opponent. If he's successful here, you know, he has a great future in boxing, but even bigger future here in New York and Madison Square Garden. So this is a building for us, for him, uh, and it enables us to keep the flame going uh, for Puerto Rican Day Parade, which is such a big, big festival uh, in New York. You have done this for the many years with Ivan Calderon, Juan Ma Lopez, and Miguel Cotto. How do you continue to do that in this building? Well, because we're always interested in Puerto Rican fighters, and we groom our Puerto Rican fighters to fight, you know, other times, of course, but particularly to fight on Puerto Rican, the eve of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Now, you have a fighter on the card who has been an adopted Puerto Rican in Bruce Carrington. He has labeled himself Shoe York Rican. Tell us about this young man. Well, he's a, he, I, I love Shoe Shoe because he, he's, he's a very, very charismatic kid. Uh, he is fan friendly no matter what ethnic group you're from uh, and he's going to go a long way in the sport because people love him and people follow him and you'll see how many people uh, on Saturday night come from Brownsville, Brooklyn where he lives uh, to support him. Also on the call you have a woman's bout, Nisa Rodriguez. She's a middleweight, she's in her infancy of her career. She serves and protects outside the ring and tries to destroy inside the ring. What could you tell me about her? Well, it's sort of interesting to have a, a policewoman. Uh, I think this is the first one we've ever had on our card. Uh, people tell me that she is a very capable fighter, and I hope that uh, she comes through because it'll be wonderful uh, to advance a career of a New York City cop. <laughs> if, if, if there are still tickets on Saturday night, why should people come, why should people attend, why should they watch? Well, people are gonna see some great talent, great fights, and enjoy themselves. And, and the prices are very reasonable, you know? Uh, uh, and uh, there are some tickets left, uh, but by fight night, it'll be all sold out. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will one day uh, be able to take the, some of these fighters and do a big uh, card in the big garden. Uh, it wasn't available now because uh, the Knicks and the Rangers went pretty deep into the playoffs, even though they didn't make it finally. But, uh, you know, the way those teams are building, uh, they'll be alive for years to come uh, in early June. Last question. What can you tell me about the rumors that your undisputed sensation, Nawa Inouye, will be in the building? There's no question. He's, he arrived in New York yesterday. He'll be at the Boxing Writers' dinner tonight where he'll be receiving an award. Uh, Friday, we're going to take him to Yankee Stadium because the Yankees are playing the Dodgers and there are two great uh, Japanese players on the Dodgers, Otani and, uh, and the pitcher, uh, Yamamoto. And uh, uh, he will, uh, he's looking forward uh, to Saturday night and coming here to Madison Square Garden to see this card. Bob, we appreciate your time. Thank you, see you Saturday night. Thank you. Bob, you want to go to lunch?